You've seen stories of sadness, illegal immigrants torn from their families and deported. Despite their immigration status, they've lived by the rules. They're good people. Problem solver Rob Olchek says that this is not one of those stories. Rob? Hula Monica, I don't get it. You see these nice people who are brought here as kids. They grow up here, become productive members of the community, and then get deported. Then you have this guy who's been trouble since he came to America in 2001, and he's still here raising hell. This is Cleddy Plumai. He's a bad guy. He's a bad guy. How bad? Deborah says Cleddy Plumai has threatened her, and she's scared. I don't know what he's capable of. And if this sounds familiar to you, it is. Meet Cleddy Plumai. Yep, 10 years ago, I put Cleddy Plumai, the same guy, in the Hall of Shay. How you say he threatened you? Yeah. What'd he say? Uh, he threatened to kill me, said he would kill me, and I was a dead man. 2008, people say Cleddy is cheating them and threatening them. 2018, he's here doing the same thing. But get this, Cleddy Plumai isn't supposed to be here at all. He's undocumented and he's illegal. He was ordered four times to leave the country and the last time was 2012. And he's still here. Still here, filing for bankruptcy and writing off hundreds of thousands of dollars of daddy racked up. Still here, getting sued for breaking leases, getting judgments filed against him for tens of thousands of dollars. And Cleddy Plumage and his wife Aurora are still here, even though they're illegal aliens. Using the American court system, to cheat their landlord on a rent. At least that's what Deborah says. I don't want another person to get stuck with someone like this, like I've been stuck. Deborah says she was contacted by Cleddy Plumai about her house in Birmingham. I thought I was dealing with the realtor, and in the end, I found out he was the renter. Deborah had lived in the house, but was transferred in her job to California. She rented the home to Cleddy and his family, furnished for $2,500 a month. They moved in January 1st of 2017 and started making home improvements, like tearing the carpeting off these stairs. By January 4th, Deborah was sending Cleddy emails asking him to stop. She writes, you need to request in writing authorization to do any repairs or modifications to the property. Here's Cleddy Plumai's response. I will put liens on your house, period. My attorney is so happy to send you to court because you don't stay in your business. Remember, this is five days after they moved in. You are scaring my kids all our panic because of you. My attorney going to charge you for harassment, for scaring my family. By January 21st, Cleddy was claiming he now owned the house. I am the owner. I live here, not you. Then Cleddy followed through, filing almost $20,000 worth of liens on Deborah's property, claiming he fixed things she says weren't broken. Oh, he fixed the furnace, he fixed the air conditioning, he fixed the uh, ventilation system. But it's all BS. Oh, it, there's, yeah, he has no documentation at all. And, and he never got approval. Deborah sued Cleddy and his wife, Aurora. She says she hasn't received rent money since January of this year. But get this, Cleddy and his wife have countersued, claiming the house has caused them physical and emotional distress and anguish, humiliation and mortification, sleeplessness and anxiety. The suit and countersuit go to jury trial next month. And you say it's such a horrible place. Why, won't you, why don't you move? And why don't you move is what the U.S. government has said to Cleddy and his wife for years. Here are the facts from documents filed in federal court. Plumai entered the United States on or around September 3, 2001 without being admitted or paroled by an immigration officer. In October of 2002, the INS commenced removal proceedings against Plumai and her husband, Cleddy Plumai. Aurora wanted asylum, claiming she'd been attacked in her home country of Albania for her involvement in a political group. However, in 2008, an immigration judge determined Plumai was not credible, noting internal inconsistencies in her testimony. Both Cleddy and Aurora were ordered to leave the U.S. They didn't. Instead, Cleddy entered the Hall of Shame. 
At the time, he was an unlicensed contractor using a fake name, Gino. But he decided to tell everyone his name was Gino and start contracting. Gino, a.k.a. Cletty, was running a company called Italia Remodeling. His customers claimed he was taking their money and not completing jobs. And if they complained, he bullied them. Hey, I want to ask you about your Italian remodeling company. I didn't have any company. Yeah, you had Italian remodeling and all these victims that people you ripped off. Next, Cletty was billing himself as a bad boy boxer, calling himself Crazy G. But the champ was a chump, running boxing and kickboxing gyms apparently right into the ground. Then, the boxer did more rope-a-dope and got more judgments leveled against him. Next, Cletty Plumai started a YouTube channel advertising a property management company and managed himself into Deverell's rental property in Birmingham. I want people to know he's a crook. And he's a liar. Cutty Plumai is a bad man. So why does it seem illegal aliens who are living by American rules are getting deported and Cletty is still here? Shouldn't bad boy boxer Crazy G float like a butterfly back to his own native country? There, he can sting like a bee all he wants. We contacted the Immigration Service about Cletty as we were working on this story. We were planning on confronting him last week and what do you know? ICE picked him up. He's being detained at the Calhoun County Jail. ICE won't comment on specific cases, but they said they no longer exempt classes or categories of removable aliens from potential enforcement. Cletty's wife is still here, living in Deborah's house with their four kids. I spoke with Aurora Plumai on the phone last week. She's put two months of rent in an escrow account, but Deborah says that money is being held by the court and the Plumais actually owe four months of back rent. She wants the family out. Now, Rob, Cletty slash Gino is in this country illegally. He's filed for bankruptcy. He's accused of cheating people out of their money. He should have been gone a long time ago, but what about his wife and kids? What happens to them? Well, his wife is here illegally as well, so we don't know what's going to happen to her. Supposedly, she will be detained and de deported as well. It appears the children are American citizens, so you've got that whole mess going on. The thing is, is that this has gone back for uh, many administrations. I mean, in 2002 was when they first decided these people were illegal, and had they deported them back then, it would have been a different story. Instead, this guy has been running rampant for years and years and years, and now they've established a family. And so, I mean, the government's partially to blame for letting them stay here. And then look at the things they've taken advantage of. They filed for bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. They're illegal aliens, and they filed for bankruptcy. And Who would even know that was possible? And putting liens on property? Yeah, on other putting people's property, yeah. Putting liens on property. So they're, they're very savvy in what they're doing, but... Uh, I'll tell you, this is a case where, in, in my opinion, I think they should probably send these people away. But That's what it's been deemed by the courts. The longer it takes, so the more complex it gets. That's right. All right. All right. Thanks, Rob. Well, the Fox 2 Problem Solver Unit is working overtime tonight. Here's ML Elric.